Hey YouTube, it's GV Lone Guy. I'm over here at the Daily Trumpet, and I wanted to, uh, I don't know why the timing is such on this that I felt like reading this article to you right here. It came out way back in uh, April, but for some reason I just feel like bringing it out now. Hillary's Thesis, Saul Alinsky's Rules for Radicals. Yep, that's right. Hillary did her thesis on Saul Alinsky, not on the book Rules for Radicals, because that book was not published until 1971, and her thesis came out in 1969. We're going to take a look at that. But first, let me just read you some of this. Hillary Clinton's 1969 political science thesis, There is Only, one, there is only the Fight, refers to an earlier version of Alinsky's training manual. In 1946, she wrote, Alinsky's first book, Reveal for Radicals, I'm sure I'm pronouncing that wrong, was published. So her thesis is based on the 1946 book, first published by Saul Linsky, which basically was Rules for Radicals in a much earlier format. Anyway, we'll come back to that. This is a quote from David Alinsky, a tribute to his father, Saul Alinsky, right here. Here's the quote. Obama learned his lesson well. I'm proud to see that my father's, Saul Alinsky's, model for organizing is being applied successfully beyond local community organizing to affect the Democratic campaign in 2008. Wow, that's pretty heavy. Anyway, uh, that was by uh, David Alinsky in a fine tribute to Saul Alinsky as we approach his 100th birthday. The son of the neo-Marxist Saul Alinsky. All right. Obama helped fund Alinsky Academy, the Woods Fund, a nonprofit on which Obama served as a paid director from 1999 to December of 2002, provided startup funding and later capital to the Midwest Academy. Obama sat on the Woods Fund board alongside William Ayers founder of the Weather Underground Domestic Terrorist Organization. Midwest describes itself as one of the nation's oldest and best-known schools for community organizations, citizen organizations, and individuals committed to progressive social change. Midwest teaches Alinsky tactics of community organizing. Hillary and the Cult of Alinsky True revolutionaries do not flaunt their radicalism, Alinsky taught. They cut their hair, put on suits, and infiltrate the system from within. Alinsky viewed revolution as a slow, patient process. The trick was to penetrate existing institutions such as churches, unions, and political parties. Many leftists view Hillary as a sellout because she claims to hold moderate views on some issues. However, Hillary is simply following Alinsky's counsel to do and say whatever it takes to gain power. Obama is also an Alinskyite. Obama spent years teaching workshops on the Alinsky method. In 1985, he began a four-year stint as a community organizer in Chicago, working for an Alinskyite group called the Developing Communities Project. Camouflage is key to Alinsky-style organizing. While trying to build coalitions of black churches in Chicago, Obama caught flack for not attending church himself. He became an instant churchgoer. Mm hmm. Right. Here's some excerpts from the book. A Marxist begins with his prime truth that all evils are caused by the exploitation of the proletariats, by the capitalists. From this, he logically proceeds to the revolution to end capitalism. Then, into the third age of reorganization into a new social order of the dictatorship of the proletariat. And finally, the last stage, the political paradise of communism. Yeah, 
All right, I, I guess I'm beginning to understand as I read this to you folks, I'm beginning to understand why the timeliness of this is, is on my mind here. Anyway, known as the father of modern American radicalism, Saul D. Alinsky developed strategies and tactics that take the enormous, unfocused emotional energy of grassroots groups and transform it into effective anti-government and anti-corporate activism. Some of these rules are ruthless, but they work. Mm -hmm. Okay, so Hillary's thesis is on this subject. All right, so right up here at the top, there is, uh, we can pop over here and actually see it. Here it is, there is only the fight, an analysis of the Alinsky model. A thesis submitted in partial fulfillment of the requirements for the Bachelor of Arts degree under the Special Honors Program, Wellesley College, Wellesley, Massachusetts. Hillary D. Rodham, Political Science, 2nd of May, 1969. Copyright, 1969, Hillary D. Rodham. So I would guess that since this was completed in early May, that it was probably worked on prior to the uh, beginning of the year of 1969. I would venture it went back into 1968, I'm guessing. Now yeah, we can look this up and read part of it if you want. I think there's some significant stuff in here, but the part that I thought was interesting is, so here's the acknowledgments. Here's it, Saul, David Alinsky, an American radical, the Alinsky method of organizing three case studies. This is all from the 1946 book. A prize piece of political pornography, perspectives on Alinsky and his model, and realizing life after acknowledgments. Although I have no, quote, loving wife to thank for keeping the children away while I wrote, I do have many friends and teachers who have contributed to the process of thesis writing, and I thank them for their tireless help and encouragement. In regard to the paper itself, there are three people who deserve special appreciation. Mr. Alinsky for providing a topic, sharing his time, and offering me a job. Wow, that's really interesting. So, Hillary actually spent time with Saul Alinsky, probably in 1968, I'm guessing. And during that time, doing research for her thesis, no doubt, on his earlier work from 1946, and at some point, he was so impressed with her, he offered her a job. That's interesting. Anyway, this is the thesis, Hillary's thesis. Chapter 1, Saul David Alinsky, an American radical. Goes on here, keeps going. You guys can check this out. It's all there on the web page. I thought this was interesting, though. I just wanted to go down here. It's about halfway through here. I think it is right here at the beginning of Chapter 3. A prized piece of political pornography. In this section, there's a ref reference, an interesting reference. Let's see here. Okay. Oh, Daniel P. Moynihan. Wow, look at that, way back there. Daniel P. Moynihan, who helped draft the original poverty legislation, has described his understanding of the origins and failures of the Community Action Program in his book, Maximum Feasible Misunderstandings. Moynihan writes in a spirited style, he dissects the so-called opportunity theory articulated by Lloyd E. Olin and Richard A. Cloward, both of the Columbia School of Social Work. Wow. So even in her thesis, Hillary is making reference to Cloward, Olin, and the mobilization for youth project in New York City, blah, blah, blah. Anyway. I'll let you, you guys can come back to this and read it on your own if you want to. Now, here's an interesting article in the American Thinker. This goes way back, too. But I just wanted to look up uh, Cloward. So I found this article in the American Thinker talking about the uh, Cloward-Piven strategy and the strategy of forcing political change through orchestrated crisis. Wow. Interesting. The Cloward-Piven strategy seeks to hasten the fall of capitalism by overloading the government bureaucracy with a flood of impossible demands, thus pushing society into crisis and economic collapse. 
Wow. Richard Cloward and Francis Fox Piven were two lifelong members of the Democratic Socialists of America who taught sociology at Columbia University. Piven later went on to City University of New York. In May 1966, Nation magazine article titled The Weight of the Poor, they outlined their strategy, proposing to use grassroots radical organizations to push ever more strident demands for public services at all levels of government. The result, they predicted, would be a profound financial and political crisis that would unleash powerful forces for major economic reform at the national level. They implemented the strategy by creating a succession of radical organizations, most notably among them the Association of Community Organizing Organizations for Reform Now, also known as ACORN. Ooh. With the help of veteran organizer Wade Rathke, their crowning achievement was the Motor Voter Act, signed into law by Bill Clinton in 1993, with the Cloward and Piven standing behind him. Oh, okay, right there. All right. As we now know, Acorn was one of the chief drivers of high-risk mortgage lending that eventually led to the financial crisis. But the Motor Voter Law was another component of the strategy. It created vast vulnerabilities in our electoral system, which ACORN then exploited. ACORN's vote registration scandals throughout the U.S. are predictable fallout. The Motor Voter Law has also been used to open another... Okay, I'll leave this stuff for you guys. I'll put the links down below if you want to read more about this. But I just wanted to point out that uh, their goal of busting and breaking the system and therefore... Uh, hastening the fall of capitalism. I mean, this is what's going on in the streets here. This is the reason that I said that the Occupy stuff, from the beginning I've said that the Occupy uh, people were organized behind the scenes by this group right here. You know, you've got these people behind the scenes. These radicals from the 60s. And, you know, I also have to say that it seems, it's just an interesting thought to me that Hillary Rodham spent time with Saul Alinsky in 1968, let's say to 1969, early 69. Saul Alinsky then somehow managed to publish the book Rules for Radicals in 1971. It just The timing on that, just after 1946 was when the original work was done. Then all of a sudden, after spending this time with Hillary, getting to know her, uh, even offering her a job, then uh, all of a sudden he's publishing this book. I don't know. Do you think it's possible that she was able to somehow influence him? I don't know. All I know is those pants she's wearing, I had a pair just like it, only mine were bell bottoms. Anyway, I'll post the links. You guys know where to find this stuff. You take care.